people are losing their jobs and applying for unemployment benefits. Details are coming in this video, so make sure to watch till end. Just give it a thumbs up, so YouTube shows it to other people as well and don't forget to subscribe. Back to our topic, more and more people are applying for unemployment benefits due to the fact that the illness continues to force layoffs. Statistics are hurtful. The number of Americans who applied for unemployment benefits last week went up to a staggering 3.28 million, as companies nationwide laid off employees to cope with the spread of the illness. According to Department Labor, in the week ending March 21, the advance figure for seasonally adjusted initial claims was 3,283,000, an increase of 3,001,000 from the previous week's revised level. This marks the highest level of seasonally adjusted initial claims in the history of the seasonally adjusted series. The previous high was 695,000 in October of 1982. But this is most certainly just the beginning, as businesses are closed and people are not working due to lockdowns and quarantines. Many states are ordering non-essential businesses to close. Most people applying for unemployment benefits were from states suffering the most from this messy illness. The biggest increase was in Pennsylvania, followed by Ohio, New Jersey, Massachusetts, and California. In some states the system got overloaded, so many weren't able to file claims and independent contractors weren't eligible to apply. Hardest hit are employers who work at airlines, retailers, restaurants, hotels and travel agencies. Experts warned that unemployment rate could climb to 20% or higher. Let's take a look at what you have to do if you lose your job. The most important thing, don't wait. File for unemployment immediately. Before the illness put its claws on the whole health and economic system, people had to wait a week before filing for unemployment benefits, but that requirement has been waived so you can apply immediately. The form can be filled out in person, but it is advised to do this on the phone or online. Before that, you should check out the Department Labor's website. Here you will find eligibility requirements for figuring out whether you qualify for benefits. There is also a very useful website, partnered with the Department Labor, called CareerOneStop.org where you will find a map and you can select your state for further information. Next you need to fill out an unemployment assistance application with your state. In order to do this, you will need some basic information, like your driver's license, social security number and addresses and dates of your former employer. After claiming benefits it usually takes two to three weeks to get your first payment. If you still have your job, but been forced to take mandatory unpaid leave, or as some people might say, furlough, you are also eligible for unemployment benefits. If you are only partially employed or your work hours have been reduced, you can still apply. Most states pay these benefits for about six months. The amount you get varies from state to state. The maximum Massachusetts pays is $795 a week and that is the highest of any state. The lowest amount is in Mississippi, where you will receive checks at $235 a week.